to have a small group. We'll get more. I'm, I'm going to turn on the recording. Just so you know, I just turned it on. You are being recorded. Thanks. So I can only see you guys when you guys talk or make noise. Can you see me the whole time? Because I'm on the phone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wonder, yeah, because you probably well, can't see your yeah, maybe because it's a limited screen. Let me see if I change the phone this way. Yeah, it's still the same thing. Okay, I was just curious. Darn. All right. Great. Oh, okay. Well, I'll start out with first. Are there any questions that you had right away for starters? Don't worry. I, thought, I thought I was very successful in this one, like just in general. Good. You know? I mean, other than the eating uh, salmon twice a week, which I don't love, but I'll try. Um, I really do a good job with uh, inner jogging. I'm really good at that. I like that description. You know who I, I got? I got I I credit where I got it. Oh, where did I get it? I think I got it from, oh no, that's Dr. Sears. Yeah, I knew somebody. Oh. I knew someone gave it to me because I didn't think of it. But that's it. I gave him credit, so I'm good. I'm good. Okay. That's great. I like that. And then I, I also, what I realized was, and this is so funny because I swear, if I didn't read this stuff, I wouldn't even think twice about it. That, you know, I have the luxury of having uh, no job right now. Well, I worked my butt off last month. But in general, you know, so that I have more me time than I've ever had before in my life. Plus, I have one child, and she's a teenager, which they don't even want to be around you, so that's helpful, um, you know, to have me time. I mean, when, you know, when I, they're not clean to you like they used to, or, or they don't even need you, basically. You want to do stuff, and then they're like, I got it. So that's a lot of me time. But then, um, I forget how you put it, but I just felt like I, I, um, I, I don't celebrate that well enough. That's what it was. I don't um, realize, oh, I get to go for this walk. And, oh, I get to, you know, take, read a book for an hour or two, whatever it is. Like all your whole list I was reading was, um, wow, I get to do that. Oh, I should celebrate that because those are all little gifts, you know. Mm -hmm. It just, sometimes you take even little things like that for granted. I try not to take things for granted, but I, I that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you're you're halfway, so. Yeah. That's, I'm sad about that. Well, you can still sit in on module three, people, if you want. <laughs> it's fine why, with me. Why, why, the why the would we want to sit in with underclassmen? I mean, really. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh oh, uh, they're not they're not going to listen to this recording, are they? They'll all hate me. No, no, uh, opposite of that. <laughs> uh, la, 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 la. Uh, okay, so you, yeah, celebrating you. I I don't do a good good job about this either, but something we all need to do. Yeah. Right. And it's also, um, I, and it's probably fresh on my mind because I really just did look it over, but I was away, so I had a good excuse. But um, um, one of the things that I don't do any time is just take an assessment. I'm really bad at that, like an assessment of myself. I'll do it for everything else. How are we doing? Is that working out for you? You know, that kind of stuff, but I don't do it for myself. So again, I was like, well, have I been walking consistently? And then I'm like, uh, no, it's been too hot. Then I'm like, well, that's a good excuse. So then I got thinking, like, what's my option? If I can't walk outside, which I love the most, I have to do something else. So going forward, I've decided, you know, what that's going to look like when I can't do it four times a week, at least, you know? Yeah. You're making a plan B. That's really great. Yeah. Good for you and you're and checking what, in with yourself yeah that's exactly it yeah you know it makes me think of when i went through divorce care and um one of the things they had us do which i thought was kind of silly and sheila you can probably like attest to this or say more about this but um 
because Sheila has a counseling background. Um, but I remember each week, it was a 13 week program. And each week they had us in the corner of our workbooks, the right hand corner. We had to grade ourselves of how we think we're doing emotionally, kind of, because most of us were just awful and sad at the beginning. And, um, and the point of it was they would tell us to look back because you'll see improvement. And I remember thinking, I still feel the same. This was like five weeks into it. I still felt, um, you know, just sort of bad. But I remember looking back that my, I was at a one and a two, like it was a scale on one to 10. I was at a one and a two in the beginning and I was marking threes by week five. So I had improved, but I didn't feel like it. So when you said taking an assessment, even the little things, you don't even think or see yourself improving or doing well when you really probably are. And as I'm talking, I think I might add that. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. To do like a one through 10? Yeah, like just grade like yourself. Grade your own self. Anyway. That works for me with pain, and I, I didn't do that in the beginning of all my pain, but um, I just knew I was hurting. And then after my surgery, the first one, I just, I didn't do it again. And then after the second one, I didn't do it. But then like two years out, my smart friends all said, you're making progress, right? I'm like, yeah, but then I'd say, but not enough, and I'm still in pain, and I can't do this, and I can't do that. And so it was more, again, the head thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. And it's a pain. It really is. It's painful, but it's better than I was. So why am I not celebrating that? And why am I not recognizing that? It's make, I'm making progress, and that's what matters. The mm -hmm. progress matters, no matter what incremental small steps, whether it's emotional or psychological or physical or what. So true. That's so beautiful. Then I, said, then I did start taking notes on that. I mean, literally was like, wow, I, we, I went for a walk with Deidre um, in this beautiful on the American River, uh, right near her house, beautiful area. And at the end of it, I didn't have my phone because I needed to plug in. It was dying. So she had hers. I took some pictures and she, I can't believe you didn't bring your phone with you. I know it was dying. So I just left it at home. We got home. I said, how far did we walk? She says, I don't know. I don't keep track of that stuff. I don't measure that stuff. I just do it. I'm like, well, I do because I, we walked at least four miles. Like I could feel it. I know what it feels like at three miles, four miles, five miles, depending on the shoes I'm wearing and whatever. But I knew we did. And so I made her like go through and check and track. And it turned out we did. I knew we, I knew we, we had gone on a good walk. But again, I like to keep track because it shows my progress. You know? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Um, you know, something just occurred to me while you were talking, Linda. I think that part of the reason that we've, even though we're doing this, even though we're really dedicated to this process, thank you, Angie. Um, I think that for two reasons, it's hard for us, maybe I'll speak for myself, hard for me to do a self-assessment because number one, um, I just wrote it down, I can't remember right now. Uh, we get caught up in the daily minutia of things we need to do. We need to do laundry, we need to do blah, blah, whatever. And also, as women, we have a lot of people to take care of besides ourselves. So I think, did we lose Lynn? No, there she is. Um, so sorry, I think, I'm trying to make it louder. I shut off my car and the volume went down, so I'm sorry. That's okay. So I, think, I think those two reasons are par, part of the, of the, for me, the barriers, the obstacles. For me. That's, that's an obstacle for you. Yeah. Yeah. To do self assessment. Totally. Well, and just just take to, to just take the minute to actually think about yourself or your. I mean, it's one thing if you're like, I'm going to meditate, but if you're gonna meditate, it's not usually like, oh, can I make myself better? Or what am I doing better? Or what do I need to do? With, I don't know. I guess. Yeah. We don't, it's not a program we're used to. Mm -hmm. It's true. As I don't women. think any of us as women are used to giving ourselves the gift of time and ourselves. Yeah. I, uh, uh, I spoke at a mom to mom group on Monday 
And, um, you know, I'm talking to moms of young kids. They, they have zero time. So we talked about, um, we, the, the, the topic they wanted to talk about was not gaining weight over the holidays. Mm. Um, I'll have to share my, tw- I thought of 20 tips on the airplane, Linda. Ooh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that I shared with them. But we ended up more talking about stress over the holidays and how to alleviate that. And the biggest takeaway, yeah. well, I don't know what their biggest takeaway, but I felt like the biggest takeaway that I gave them was giving them permission to get help and to ask for help and to give themselves time through, you know, throughout the holidays of getting a manicure, get a babysitter, go to a movie you know, get help wrapping gifts. If you don't like doing that, go hire, hire a high school kid. They'll do anything for money. Anything. Yeah. Well, (laughs) hopefully not anything. (laughs) (laughs) But right. Cash is king when you are a 15 year old. Um, That's true. uh, Yeah. Even you just have to carve that out and give yourself permission that's that you know that I you know what it's so funny because I always feel like I'm the worst at asking people for help but I'm Mm -hmm. always the one offering to help and then when somebody says no I'm like why why do you want me to help you (laughs) yeah yeah but because I don't like to ask for help. I really have understood why people don't. So I've started asking for help. So people will a- ask me. That's a great point, Linda. We it's need like, to start doing it so that people will start asking us. Yeah. And we need to start saying yes. Amy Wilson gets really mad at me if I say no, because she's like, you're robbing me the opportunity to serve you. Yeah. Yeah. That's a Christian thingy. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that too. Yeah. I'm like, why are you making me feel guilty? How do you feel about that? <laughs> um, all right. um, okay. Module six, we talked about protein. That's my favorite macronutrient because it fills you up. And protein is all the, well, it's not that I like meat really, but I like nuts and uh, peanut butter and almond butter and eggs. I'm an egg hound. <laughs> uh, and there's not really uh, any aha moments, is there? Oh, the combinations of complete proteins. I don't know if you knew that or not. I didn't. So if you if that thing you were saying basically that says that you. If you're not going to eat a lot of meat, because we have really tried in our family and myself to do meat like minimally. It's not every night. It used to be every night. We just don't do it. It's like three, four times a week. average, Um, And that includes fish, like meat or fish, like anything other than, yeah. Um, But if you're not going to do that, that's where that comes in handy, right? Like not on top of having protein. Right. 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 You just want to um, create complete, complete proteins. If you're not, if you're only getting because the amino acid thing, um, I think, what did I say? 20 amino acids. And we've got, there are nine that we have to get from our foods. And so then you want to create that complete protein. And um, it's not in one sitting. It's not that you have to have these combinations in one meal. You can have them throughout the day or over a period of a couple of days, but just to get, um, that whole complete protein, I guess. Yeah, so that's good. That's good. And then asaxanthin. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, Is that the only thing found in salmon? Well, that I I looked for that actually, because I'm like, come on, it's gotta be another foods. And that's the only example Dr. Sears gave. I really didn't look it up online too much. but uh, you can take supplements of asaxanthin. I don't currently, um, uh, and it's just it's only because of laziness. I haven't found a supplement that I have bought. Really, is what it boils down to. Um, but they're just 
Like, I, did you, did I show you guys this? That he wrote a whole book on it? Little, well. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's what got me. I wanted to make sure I shared it with you at least, that it's just such a super nutrient, really important for so many things. Okay, anyway. So where do you get your salmon at? Because it's so, everywhere I go, it's like farm raised. Right. Um, the best salmon ever is Central Market. But I know you can't go to Central Market all the time. Market Street has... Um, I've been to Market Street, yeah. Those are the two places I usually shop. Of course, Whole Foods will have what you want. Um, so I would try, uh, Lynn, Trader Joe's has it too. But remember, this is a tip we learned in um, Alaska. Mm -hmm. it can, oh, if, what? It says, if it says farm-raised, it's definitely farm-raised. You just don't know where. If it says... Um, if it says uh, Alaskan salmon of any kind, it's wild. You cannot, and they do not, farm salmon at all anywhere in Alaska, and so they don't even put it on their labels. So if it says Alaskan salmon or wild salmon, those are the two things uh -huh. that you want. And even if it's canned, so I don't know if you do like, people do croquettes. I don't know if that defeats the whole purpose or what. Angie, no, but no, it doesn't. That's, that's legal. <laughs> That's fine. I should have put that in there. I'm going to add that, actually. Go I was ahead. just thinking, yeah, when we were in, um, again, when we were in Alaska, you know, you learn a lot about it. And one of the other things they said was, um, the, and it lasts forever. Um, and this is how we like it. Dried, like, um, not dried, smoked. Where you put it like, it? yeah, smoked, like, um, you know, we do cucumber and, we had a little party and had that like little crudite or whatever, like uh -huh. um, cucumber, capers, salmon, you know, a whole grain bread or something. Um, that's one way I kind of forget that I like to have it, you know, with the tzatziki sauce or you make your own dill uh -huh. sauce or whatever, because then it's raw. Um, but yeah. I'm going to try some other recipes. That's beautiful. I completely forgot. Yes, canned salmon is great. And, and bags. So, Sometimes the bags. Yeah. Like the right. sealed I, bags. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. And, and I don't I know. Lox, lox would be good too, right? Sure. Absolutely. I think that's just another word for it, isn't it? Or it is, is that something? It's different? in the bag, but it's not. It has to be cold. Like yours was like room temperature, right? Like dehydrated or something, wasn't it? Smoke. Lox is it. raw. Lox is on smoked. And smoked, but like it's yeah, more raw. It had to be cold. But I thought the one you had, Linda, was like room temperature dehydrated. No. I I don't know. I had a bunch, but I will say it's it's um it didn't have to be refrigerated when I, like when I bought. Sometimes when you buy the smoke, you can see it. It's in the refrigerator section. I've mm -hmm. done it that way. And sometimes there's just like the bag. So it must be like vacuum sealed and dried or I don't even know why. But. I've bought that before too. I completely forgot to include that. That is great. Thank so you. So what other fish is good then? Um, so like the salmon, did you put it tuna. in the module? I'm sorry. Tuna. Is tuna okay with the mercury? Yeah, you just have to get the, get. Albacore? I don't, uh, Packed in water? Well, definitely, yes. Packed in water for the canned. Um, I thought the FDA kind of helped that mercury situation, no? I don't know. I just know not more than once a week is what the last thing I read. But. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought I heard. Yeah, too, like I, would, a week, a I would a week. tuna a lot. I know, I remember Dr. Sears having a recipe in his book about tuna. Um, any kind of fish, really. I, I, I know that the white fish doesn't have as many nutrients in it. Um, but it's still What's the better. one that they do? They serve everywhere. That's kind of cheap. I don't think that's a good one, though, right? Um, the tilapia. The tilapia. What is it? 
there's tilapia here, but halibut are tilapia, like tilapia. There's a lot yeah. of it's like made in China. You don't want to eat it, like type of thing. Yeah, so that's like a fish you want to stay away from, right? Right. It's kind of again where where you it's get it. From. Well, yeah, if, if you guys notice, the next time you buy shrimp anywhere, and I mean anywhere, yeah. If, if you look really closely, it a lot of it comes from Vietnam. Really? Vietnam. Even in Boston. My mom, my mom told me that. My mom said Asia, but my mom only asked them if it was from the Gulf Coast, and if it's not, she doesn't buy it, and she says it's so hard to find now. You're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't buy it if it's not if it's from Vietnam. I figure it's halfway across the world. That's yeah, that's, that's crazy. I I haven't bought shrimp in a long time, but that's good to know. I think I have some in the freezer from like a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to throw that out. That, it's high in cholesterol too. Yeah, really? That's, that's why yeah. we don't eat. Shellfish. Shellfish is typically high in cholesterol but in moderation enjoy yeah yeah i do i like saying i like other things i love that yeah that's great you guys oh thank you thank you for your input um what else oh and then you got the chair workout if anyone looked at that mm -hmm. and stretches i did and i have to say your personality really shone through on that chair one <laughs> I know, and the dog, too. Oh, my God. Ready it's a good one. <laughs> All you need but, is a chair. Right, but here's the thing. When I first saw it, like, I, when I first heard chair, I thought, you know, me. Oh, and sitting. Older people. Yeah, like, I'm hurting people. Like, you know how they have those chair classes? Yes. Like the old well, that's what I thought yeah. it was going to be. It was nothing like that, so... You might want to make that clear that this yeah. is yeah oh thank you yeah. that's true because it's nothing yeah. like that I don't think you ever sit <laughs> right that's what I thought it was like a chair workout where I was going to be doing <laughs> <laughs> thank you that I didn't even think of that all right <laughs> that's great Alex. oh hi Alex um. <laughs> Great. How are you all doing on exercise and moving? Good? Thumbs up? Yeah. Congratulations. Excellent. Charlie's afraid of my uh, stability ball. <laughs> He's afraid of it? Yeah, That's so I can't, I can't do it in the backyard with him. Yeah, you have to bring it, put him separate. Yeah. Hi, Craig! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's such a good guy. Yes, he is. Uh, well, congratulations. Uh, sorry, I had it on mute. That's all right. Oh, oh, shoot. He didn't hear us talking. Or maybe he did hear us talking. No, he heard you. Oh, he heard yeah. you. He heard you. Yes, okay. thank you. Um, and then um, foam rolling is coming up. So if you don't have a foam roller, get one. And um, I'm no expert at foam rolling, but at least... Can I see yeah, the I one you wanna... have? Do you what? have one you could show us? Like how yeah. big? Is it 36 inch or which one do I need to get? Because I got one and they told me it was too small. Uh, yeah. Sit, and 18, a 6 to 18 inch one, I think. Is, hang on. You know what? I mean, eight, longer. Lynn, I took my one that's her size and I, and I cut it in half because I wanted to bring it with me one time on vacation. It wouldn't fit in my suitcase. Um, and it still works like really well. You can do all the same things with it, but it's easier when you're starting to have a bigger. Big I one? Think. That's how they come. I mean, that's how they come. I just cut mine in half, but it still works because I just focus on certain areas. Come over, bring yours sometime if you want. Look at Angie's video, but then I'll, I'll do it. Too. I've been doing it for years. Yeah, that's a big one. I yeah. love it. Yeah, that's... That's standard. Really <laughs> that's standard, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty standard. What is this? About a, a yard. 36. 36 inches. Yeah. 36 inches? Maybe 30, three, three feet. feet. Three feet. Yeah. Yeah. 
Creepy. Yeah. I got it from Gaiam. Gaiam? Okay. I included I included a link on your oh, okay. But that's probably too long. I can send it to you too. Lynn. That's okay. I'll look in the thing if there's a link in it. Yeah. Um did, yeah, yeah. Um did I hear you say, Lynn, that you have maybe some other more exercises for foam rolling? No? Well in Camp Gladiator they showed us um and then oh. they also do the ball thing. Linda, you've said you've done the ball before too. Like they get lacrosse balls from Play It Again Sports for a dollar and then use that on different pressure that's, points. Really that's cool. in my video too. Oh, cool. With the tennis ball. So same, same thing. Okay. Good. Okay, good. Then you'll have that. That's a nice, it's a nice massage for the body. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, but in more, I think it's even more than that. Yeah, like I don't, I never ever use it as a massage, but I have used it to literally take out my trigger like point muscle, like those jabs that you get sometimes in the yes. neck, or I get them in my, my butt and back. Yeah, works. I get it in everywhere. my shoulder. Every and like you put it, you said you put it against the wall too, right? But I do it on the floor and try to get it out because it's like I crick in my neck and it can't, yeah. <laughs> it helps. That yeah. is perfect. You, um, that's really what it's more. It's more for what you're using it for. I, I'm, I'm very blessed. I don't have many kinks, so I don't, I, well, there are points though, when I use the foam roller, I'm like, Ooh, that's when you know it's working. When you, that, you can also, I didn't. And how often are you supposed to do that? As much as you want. My husband do does it. Yeah. My husband does it every day. I do it on my day off on Sundays while I'm watching TV. Mm, okay. Um, you, if you have an issue, you, really, you cannot overdo it. Like, I was told when I first had things, well, and I still have it, but like, say, say in my butt, it's just always like a big tense, like uh, my gluteus medius is where it really is. Um, I find that part where it's like, oh, ah, 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 and it almost hurts. And you just like leave it on there and I leave it on for 20 seconds. And as you breathe, you have to breathe because breathing knocks, helps knocks it down and helps it get deeper. Then you can feel it literally like dissipate as you're breathing. And after 20 seconds or so, it should either relieved or you can like move on to like the next area or whatever, like right near there. I don't know. That's what that I've, I've had. The or the roller or both? Both. Both? Both. Yep. That's no, not a medical or a professional opinion. That's just my own. That's great, Linda. You know, I remember learning from a, a yoga instructor at the church. Another thing you can do is get a tube sock and put about eight tennis balls in the tube sock and then tie the end of it, and then you create your own, like, massage unit. <laughs> massage tool. But you have to be careful of your organs, right? Like your major organs back here. That's what they told us, too, like to be careful where you're putting it. For the kidneys? And I always fill it in my kidneys. I don't think, I mean, unless you wait a lot of pounds, I don't think you can, because it's just your body weight that you're okay. putting on it. But I mean, I think you'll know the difference I mean, between like pleasure pain maybe. and pain pain. Yeah, what do you think, Linda? Yeah? I was just gonna say, they like the ball itself, you would never put on your spine. Like that's just too hard. That lacrosse ball is too hard. Any bone right. or any, any skeletal like thing. But right. your Must roller isn't going to get in there. It's just, it almost, it's too wide. You know, it's like. It's too foamy. The line is here. Yeah, and foamy. Yeah. It wouldn't hurt it. Because you want to get the muscles on both sides of your spine, like a massage therapist would focus on that if your back bothers you. So it's okay to like go up and down on that thing because your spine goes in. So it, it would be like that. You know, yeah. This is it. This is not naughty. <laughs> it I looks naughty. 
this is another foam roller, but this doesn't, it like avoid, like what Linda was saying, it avoids the spine. So you would roll, you know, okay. this would go on your back. This, the indention part would go where your spine is. So then you can roll that up and down. That looks good. Yeah. Okay. So that's another option. <laughs> Okay. That's, a, that's another tool, Angie. Is that what you're saying? That's another tool. Yeah. No batteries needed. And is I, this is every recorded. Sunday too that you do? <laughs> what? Is that every Sunday too? <laughs> yeah. Once a week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's it. Sundays only. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See, and laughing. That goes right into laughing. Inner jogging. Inner jogging. Stress reduction. Uh, you know, all these stress reduction tools, it's not like you have to do each of them every day. I'm just giving everyone different options of ways to relieve your stress. So. Have y'all started, started that 21-day uh, meditation experience? No, I meant to. I forgot. It was on Monday. You can do it a couple of days late. Did you start it? Yeah, I, I think they save the recordings for five days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have it yes, on it's, it's wonderful. Have you done it's it, Angie? It's wonderful. Uh, I've done several of them. They have different themes, and then they'll solicit you after where you can buy them at a reduced rate. Um, and they have even longer meditation times on it. But did you download the app? Yeah. Are you talking about Oprah's? Yeah. 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 And the I app do. is good to use for the whole. Yeah, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, yeah, it slowed me down. Yeah. Oh, good. Sheila, that, that makes me so happy. You deserve that. Thank you, Angie. They recommend that you do it in the mornings, but I, I need that more at night. Before I, I do go mine sleep. at night. Yeah. Yeah, they say, they say to them in the mornings, best time when you wake up, but I do mine at night. That just works better for me. Yeah, yeah. It helps me go to sleep. A lot of times I fall asleep before it's over. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. He's, he's got a really soothing voice, doesn't he? I love Deepak. Deepak's one of my favorites, and I love Oprah, too. And just the two of them together have, like, mm -hmm. this great dynamic. Mm -hmm. um, and I love how, like, she sh sets the whole thing up, and then he does it, and there's that quiet time. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some other ones. Like I said, you might, if you like this, you might want to buy the other ones. They're awesome. Okay. Thanks. You know, really I don't good. even know what you're talking about. I posted <laughs> it in the Facebook group. When? I don't, I'm not on Facebook. In the group. Been, Angie's group. Like a week ago? Like, I haven't been on in a week. Okay, so maybe two weeks ago? Go back to the group. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Here, let me see if I could send it now. Here. That's the only thing I, like, I just am not on Facebook a lot, and I'm trying not to be. But then That's I missed it. Yeah. Like this, though, you know? But you are on the call, so you didn't miss it at all, because you got it. That's true. So you're fine. I, okay. I've done one of Deepak and Oprah's before and I and I signed up for this one then too but I haven't mm -hmm. done it yet yeah see it takes it's about 20 free. minutes every day yeah. yeah it's worth it yeah it is it's totally worth it mm -hmm. here, let me pull it up and then repost it let's see here oh thank you Lynn thank I you Lynn that too um, this is only day three, so y'all really haven't missed that much. Yeah, try to catch yeah. up as soon as you can. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that right after the call, because no one's home right now. Oh, yeah, that'd be wonderful. Right? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it later. I'm going to find time for that. You guys can't it's see okay, me. Then, honestly, I'll no, we, we can't see you. Okay, I'm just curious because I'm on Facebook looking for it. I'm just wondering <laughs> how the phone really close to my face. Like, it probably doesn't look good. Hey, Angie, yeah. can I ask you a question real quick? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so which is better, the 36-inch foam roller or the 18-inch? Either one was going to – I would say the if you already bought one, then it's gonna, mm -hmm. that's fine. But otherwise, mm -hmm. get the 36-inch. Okay. Because it's just – It'll be, yeah. I've used the, at, at the church when I, we bought a bunch of foam rollers and we bought only 18 inch and the person that was teaching the class wanted 36, but 
she made the 18 work and then she came back and said later, like weeks later, she's like, I think I like those better. So I don't think you can go wrong okay. with either one. Thank you. Hey, I have another question. Um, question on um, protein. So, okay. Is, I'm just, well, there's a lot of assumptions I shouldn't make. But somebody told me recently that pork, like pork chops, are a something protein, like a, um, ah, there was a word for it where it's like one of the most efficient proteins you can have. And I don't really even know. I didn't get into it because I get distracted. But um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of, I'm this is water. Um, I just wondered, yeah, if there was like a, a protein that's better than. No, um, of course, you just want lean, me meat, any kind of meat is a complete protein. So that's red meat, poultry, pork. However, so you always wanna choose though the lean cuts, of course. Um, and know that meat in general, if you're not chewing it completely, it's going to be tough on the digestive system. So it's not bad for you, but it's gonna take longer for your digestive system to process it, and it could slow down your bowel movements because it just takes longer to move through the, the intestines and the colon and everything. So, um, so just, just that. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I just reposted it to the group. If that's okay. Oh, thank you. I that's couldn't great. find it where I posted it. And I, Linda, I just sent it to you an email or a messenger too. Thank you. I have, as, at myself, as I've gotten more into healthy eating, meat for me has become hard to eat because I, I, I can just tell my digestive system is, has a hard time processing it. So I think the more, you know, that's, I think, again, that wisdom of the body. So the meat is not bad. I'm not saying that at all because I, I'll eat it. Um, you just want to make sure you choose, or if you can, organic and lean cuts of meat. Um, Angie, was this, were we talking in here? I can't remember if I was talking to you guys about this or listening to it somewhere else of really listening to your body after you eat something. So like, for instance, um, oh, sorry, my thing came out. Um, so like Eckhart Tolle was talking about, I, I forget where I was listening to this, but like he was saying like, after two glasses of wine, like he knows his body doesn't want it anymore. Or like when you eat sugar, it like feels good for a minute and then you just kind of feel bad afterwards. So really getting in tune with your body and like understanding how it's feeling after you're eating something. I, I'm not sure if we talked about that or not, but I, okay, so I love that. I fun. believe that. But it was like really getting in tune and listening after you eat, like, like for instance, like the candy last night, like um, the kids went trick or treating and I had like an almond joy and then a peanut butter. <laughs> but then I was like, I feel like crap because I don't eat candy like that, you know, and yep just getting in touch with how you feel afterwards and really connecting with that to know I love what your that. body wants and what your body doesn't want. That's valid. I mean, that's, yeah. um, that's exactly what, um, um, Dr. Sears talks about when he talks about, um, just the, your taste, you will reshape your taste as you eat more healthy, your taste, you'll just automatically, not want it. it's kind of like your cravings go away um yeah but being in tune that's that's i like that <laughs> i don't want to repeat it. i mean you said it beautifully so i don't want to repeat it what we did What'd you talk say about that? something about that i'm trying to think of what we it was did. um was it uh like when we talked about i can't versus i don't 
Did we talk about that in this group? I can't, when we, and. Um, I don't think of it. I totally went blank. I was just thinking of it when you were talking, but I was like, oh yeah, we did talk about something like that. I forgot. Um, sugar. When we were talking about sugar. Yeah, when you were talking about sugar. Right. Because even carrot, carrots for me right now are even too sweet. And fruit, you know, strawberries, I can only eat a few of them. So they're just too sweet. Isn't that weird? Mm-hmm. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> maybe it does yeah like anymore I like smoothies that are mostly vegetables because too many fruits are too sugary but I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know what else are you struggling with anything So I brought my um, band with me in my luggage. It never got out of my luggage <laughs> for six days. Um, so it's really hard to like be good when you're on vacation. I noticed somebody that I went with was up working out in the morning and I was so like rolling my eyes at her. But <laughs> I think some people are better at that than others, you know? Right. I just don't know any tricks to it because I don't feel like I overate but I also don't feel like I um, exercised but yeah you're on vacation can't look back it's okay I know um yeah Paul that's it's probably more I'm probably a little more obsessed with working out than most because even on our honeymoon Paul's like you're taking workout clothes I'm like yeah he's like on our honeymoon I'm like yeah aren't you going to work out? He's like, no. I'm like, okay, <laughs> well, I am. I can't not work out. It's just the way I am. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'm probably a little. Okay. There's a lot of delay. Do you guys notice it or is it my computer? What? The delays. No. Yeah, and like, it keeps saying no you're, else you're I think it might something. Be your computer, Cause you delay a little bit. You keep freezing a little bit. Yeah, I think it's your computer. Oh. You must be delaying a little bit. Okay. Well, sorry. don't be sorry. It's okay. So anyway, vacation is vacation. Then come back and get back on the bike. That's fine. Each don't beat yourself day. up. That's the main thing is never beat yourself up for what you've already done. And yeah, who cares? <laughs> it's life. Move on. Yeah. <laughs> Just be healthy now or when you can. Yeah. And I'll tell you what's coming up in module seven. Ah, okay, let me see. So, oh, oh, module seven is about breaking bad habits. I give you a tool on how to break bad habits. And, oh, this is when I talk about don't versus can't. So, little teaser there. And then in nutrition, I give you 16 superfoods. Oh, and here's where we talk about wisdom of the body and reshaping the taste and food synergy. It's not food combining, but it's just how certain foods, when you combine them with others, it just enhances their nutrient value. Ooh, that's um, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. I like it. You'll like it too. And I give you a meal planning sheet, um, which I kind of, when you guys go through this, if you'll give me some feedback, I'm wondering if I should have included this earlier. Or I don't know. But so anyway, order of things is still kind of out there, but I include kind of a meal planning worksheet for you. Give you some tools. Yeah, I, 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 it's true. And then I give you some recipes. All right. Um, oh, okay. You know what? Foam rolling. You, you know what? If you go to my YouTube station, you'll see the foam rolling. So you can do that whenever you want. But actually this one is, I give you two weeks to buy your foam roller. And the reason I did that is because my other group said, I haven't bought it yet. 
don't do it yet. So anyway, um, but this one is balance and flexibility. And then um, six stations to sexy. So I give, there's a bunch of new videos in this one that I'll include. Um, and then stress is about breathing and music. <sighs> Did you know that you cannot, if you feel overwhelmed, you cannot, feeling overwhelmed and deep breathing cannot occupy the same space. Lynn probably knew that. Yeah, if you take six deep breaths before like a presentation or if you're nervous, it will not only calm you down automatically, but then it clears your brain too. So it gives you more clarity. Six. Is that the magic yeah, number? Six. Oxygen to your brain. Is that you do you know, deep breaths, uh -huh. and then it will bring the like, um, clarity and clearness, and, and then it automatically, like you said, it, yeah, it can occupy the same space. Love it. But six, I didn't, I didn't know that. That's great. That's like if you do yeah, a big presentation I, or something, like if you have something like major going on. Yeah. Because I've heard that it is, um, not necessarily how many, but I've heard that in order to get energy, like if you're tired or, or if you're about to fall asleep or if you need energy for something and you don't feel like you have it, your intake has to be longer than your exhale. So your inhale and your hold has to be longer than your exhale. But there are three steps, inhale, hold, exhale. And if they're equal, then it equals out. But if the, ex if the inhale is less than the exhale, that's calming. So the opposite happens. So the more you take in, the more energy you're going to feel versus letting out. And then the more, unless you want to be calm, then that's the opposite thing where you're like out. Yeah. If you want to be calm. Oh, that's good. In, in yoga, like I've heard that several times in yoga and it makes so much sense to me. Did you also learn in yoga that your left nostril, breathing in through your left nostril is calming and right is energizing? Yeah, they do that weird exercise. I, um, In, out, in, out. Yeah, yeah. I am. Um, I've only heard the nose thing once, so I can't, I'm really not, I don't know exactly if that, anything about it. I, I thought it was weird, but. Maybe I'll I'm have sure. less. Maybe I should have Leslie come on the call one That's time. That's a good idea. Yeah. Hmm. I'll write that down, see if she will. She'll do it. Yeah. Is she the yoga instructor at the uh, church sometimes? Yeah, I know who she is. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. yeah, I actually asked um, my other fellow health coach Tiffany to, because um, she's a yoga instructor, to come on and to do a video, and she was too shy. She's like, no, no, I can't do that. She won't do it. She only like her goal. My goal is group programs. That's what I want to do, and she only wants one on one in the same room. So it's just. You know, different strokes for different folks. Well, that's because of your woo. Oh. You're energized by the um, group the and more people and new people. You'd be drained if it was a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe she could, uh, she could speak to have you do it. So you would be on camera. She would be the expert behind the scenes. That because I I all I love bringing in people that know more than me, which is a lot of people um, about certain topics. Like I know enough to know how much I don't know. If that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, all right. What else? Anything else? No? Great. Awesome. Look how dark it's getting out. Lynn is getting darker and darker. No, I have to get run it. Look how dark it is. I know. Our time change Saturday. Next week. I know it's going to be super dark next week. Yeah, it will be. All right. All right. Well, I, don't, I will not keep you then, but you can always call me, text me, Facebook message me, email me. Thank you. Thank Angie. you, Angie. Thank I love you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you too.
All right. Good thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.